guys what it do how are you happy happy friday happy friday everybody say happy friday, happy friday. so we are out the girls and i french fry friday the girls and i are out we're headed to the grocery store i need to get some things for breakfast some things for lunch some things for dinner um and I just wanted to get some fresh air. I went to the emergency room last night. I was not feeling great. Huh? No, not feeling good, but I'm feeling better today. Um, and I just realized my body, it has to be, you know, it has to be propelled forward. You know, I have to just keep speaking life over myself and not responding to every single little wince and pain because, you know, it's not gonna help me. So, it's freezing cold. Really shouldn't be out on a freezing cold day, but I got to get my immune system built up. So, we're going to go ahead and run to the grocery store, get some things to eat, uh, come back, feed the girls, do their homeschool, and just get back to our regular routine for the day. Um, the plan for today is just stay in the house because it's so bitter cold. We're supposed to be going um, out to eat this weekend for my birthday. Hopefully, the weather permits, you know what I mean? Hopefully, everything is good for us to go. If not, I'm going to order Olive Garden and we're going to eat at home. You know, I don't know yet. But either way, that's the plan for this weekend. But we're going to go ahead and get this grocery store run done. The girls are excited to go to the grocery store because they haven't been indoors anywhere in so, so long. But I have to get these girls' immune systems built up. Um, they have to be, you know, exposed to all the elements so they can, you know what I'm saying? So their bodies can be strong enough to endure and handle it. So that's what we're going to get ready to go do now. And yeah, so I'll check in with y'all in a minute. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought. i 
righty, y'all. We made it out of the store. Now we are headed home. It's freezing out there, isn't it, girls? It oh my God, I cannot wait. Okay, Yeah, we're going to do some art when we get home. Uh, Lord, please keep us safe while we out here on the road. Y'all, it started to snow. It's snowing. It's icy. It's winter. What? Ain't nobody got no time for that. Um, mommy, but I know how to spell art. How do you spell art? Um, R-A-T. No, that's rat. Oh. What else? Um, but yeah, so we are headed back to the house now um it's gonna be a late breakfast for the girls but that's okay most of the time if i wait to feed them they actually eat all their food they're not as picky so they're gonna eat breakfast we got late start to our day but the lord say the same we're gonna make it home and we'll still get it all done so who i did not plan on spending a hundred and nothing inside of the store but i gotta get groceries for the weekend um well, yeah, for the weekend up until Wednesday, actually. So, it's the week's worth of groceries. Adding into everything else that we got. So, I decided after shopping that for dinner, we're going to have orange chicken and rice. Um, the girls are going to have, you know, whatever they want for breakfast. And then lunch, they're going to be having spaghetti and ramen. So, got my whole day planned out for the girls. Hubby has his snacks and things that he requested. I'm gonna make me some tuna salad probably. Um, and then, yeah, so, you know, gotta go home and get all this stuff safely out of the car, get the girls safely in the house. And we gonna do the dang on thing. So let me focus on the road because it is completely unsafe to drive, hold a phone, and have my babies in the car. So I'll check in with y'all once we make it into the house. Good morning, y'all. Okay, so we finally made it home from the grocery store. So what I'm doing now is making some uh, pancake, uh, some stuffed pancakes. It's for a TikTok. So I was experimenting anyway. So I made sure they ate something just in case they wouldn't like it. So there's that. Um, my house looking a hot mess. I have to clean up. Um, I got to clean up, get them an activity in today. They're going to do art today get them into the, some writing practice uh and i think yeah work on my prayer closet work on my prayer closet okay i'm literally need to stop playing around and get it done that's my intention for today is to finish this tiktok clean up my living room and bathroom again do the activities with the girls. Give me a workout in and work on my prayer closet. So, Lord, please be with me today as I attempt to get it all done. But you know what I've started to say? What I don't get done today, if the Lord see fits, I can do some more, right? So, get what you can get done, but don't make yourself feel bad because who knows what tomorrow brings. So, but all right, so let me go ahead and finish getting their breakfast together and set the tone for the rest of my day. Trouble in your mind 
tell me I just wanna be your ride Wanna be I wanna give our love away so you're not letting me Yeah Get through to you Yeah If you let your guard down, baby This is what I'll do So I'm sitting here painting <laughs> with the kiddos. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 it's getting nighttime. It's, you're gonna draw a nighttime picture? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I just made this. I don't know what this is, but this is how I was feeling. So this is what I painted. And uh, yeah, so. But that's what we're sitting here doing. Um, it's what we're sitting here painting. I have not gotten even started in that war room, y'all. Like, every time I get ready to start, then me gets a lot of pain. Every time I get ready to start, um, I think about where I got to move other things to, and it's just like, uh, so frustrating. But I'm going to try to make some room today. We're supposed to be, um, we're supposed to be going to Home Depot to go look and see you know, about some different things we can put in here to make the space work for us and all that jazz. So, anyway, that's part of my, um, ooh, why is my hair looking a hot fried mess? Anyway, that's part of the hold up with the war room. But I'm gonna try to get some kind of a uh, progression into it today. But anyway, so we're just sitting here painting. We're going to order us some food in a little while. We're gonna go to Olive Garden, a restaurant, but they won't be able to accommodate such a large group. And I don't know, I went out the past couple of days and me and Daphne started back coughing again. So, you know, I'm a little bit frustrated. Like, I hope that we're not getting set back. I hope we're not getting set back and gonna get sick again. So I'm just a little bit cautious about where I'm going and what I'm doing. And yeah, so there's that. But anyway, so we're just gonna sit here and finish painting and expressing ourselves in an artistic way and i will check back in with y'all shortly later hey guys so it is like much much later in the evening we are just now leaving olive garden olive garden um we're just now leaving olive garden we're headed back home i would ask her to give me some pregnancy tests but you're gonna be like girl what's wrong with you didn't even time to be taking no pregnancy test yeah so i'm gonna leave it alone just, and you're gonna ask after we get the food i'm gonna leave it out we gotta get you right we gotta get the food to the house because the girls are excited to eat their olive garden right girls ah uh, demi says she's sleepy oh you're tired we did have a full day. They painted, they hung out, let them play and vibe. I made them get creative today instead of sitting on their apps. So yeah, they, they, they are probably tired. And they had some chicken. I made some chicken and um, <laughs> rice earlier. Check out my 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 TikTok, y'all. Check out my TikTok, but baby, that chicken and rice was fire. But I made that earlier, and so they're probably still full. But I wanted to get my Olive Garden this weekend, and so we got it, and we're about to go home and eat it, and I'm about to go live. So, but yeah, about to go back home, y'all. It was nothing. Literally, we rode around just for nothing, and yeah. All right, so let me go ahead and go take 
this ovulation test. I'm late to taking my test this month, but I kind of feel like my body was gearing up. Really didn't want to ovulate. So let me go ahead and just take one and see if I'm close to ovulating, I've, I've, if I've ovulated already or what's going on. So let's just take it and see what's up. Okay, so they were out of the Natalist brand that I normally get from Target. So I had to get the Up and Up, which is the store brand ovulation test. Just as good as Clear Blue, but not as expensive. And so it's not the digital reader where it's telling you like, you know, if you are gearing up or not. This is just the regular strips and I find it to be just as reliable. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize it. And I just noticed that I do have quite a bit of stretchy cervical mucus. It's not quite egg whitey yet, but almost. All right, so starting to go across. What I have noticed so far in this cycle is that I do feel like lots of twinges and pinches and things like that, but um, I can't really differentiate if it's just soreness because I am working out more. So I don't know if it's just natural. Why is my face so dry? If it is just natural soreness or if it is, um, you know, if it's related to ovulation, I don't know, but Y'all, the test ain't even fully developed yet, and I can tell it's about to be positive. So, we're going to continue doing what we've been doing, y'all. We've been baby dancing every day for the past three days. So, we're going to continue to keep baby dancing and having fun with it and not really stressing the situation. This is kind of odd because I can't really tell what ovulation symptoms are anymore. I have taken so much time away from tracking it that I really don't know and like I said getting sick it really threw things off of my body so only God knows only God knows we're going to continuously you know keep on doing our best trying to get this baby but it's like at some point I just decided that it's only so much that I can do you know what I mean so I'm a little bit off put by the fact that I don't know my body as well as I did before, but at the same time, it feels a bit freeing. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. But yeah, it looks like it's about to be, or, you know, it's around about that time. I'm going to let that keep developing, and then I'll take another one in probably about six hours to see what that is doing, and just do it every six hours up until either it completely fades, or it gets darker, or whatever. But we're going to just keep on baby dancing. This time around, we are alternating between pre-seed and uh, coconut oil. And I discussed that in my recent live. Um, the benefits that, of coconut oil and why I like it. And then, um, as far as what we are doing, like as far as what we're taking, I'm taking baby aspirin every single day. Also taking vitamin D3, my prenatal vitamins. Um, Geritol liquid and um, a green juice every single day. Like a green juice is regardless, I take one of those or drink one of those. So that's what I've been doing. And I try to my very hardest to get at least a minimum of 20 minutes of cardio or activity in and some strength training in there because I really feel as if that's what makes the body just operate well that activity that functionality that blood circulation is crucial to um you know having a regular cycle so but yeah it looks as if it's like you know somewhere in there either near or just past like i said i'll keep on testing just to see what happens but i just wanted to let y'all know where we are as far as ttc is concerned so we shall see i will keep y'all posted and we will go from there Hey loves, good morning. So I just took another ovulation test. It is now cycle day 15, so it's another day. And look guys, look at that. Where the arrow is, is the test line. I'm gonna say we're there, we're right there. And yeah, so I just got out the shower, just calmed out my little fro. Um, hubby's about to get in the shower and then we're about to get some, some baby dancing in because I'm trying to catch this egg this month, y'all. We really, really, really want to get this baby. So 
let's see what happens. But finally, I'm glad, I'm so glad that I decided to buy OPKs because I thought I already ovulated. So I would have actually stopped baby dancing and we probably would have missed it. So I'm gonna go take my baby aspirin right now, take my vitamins, drink a lot of water, and yeah, so I'll check back in with y'all a little bit later on today. All right, y'all, so it is cycle day 15, it's night time. I went live earlier today. Um, a lot of ovulation tests, y'all, I'm in so much pain. And I know I'm ovulating on my right side and I thought I wasn't gonna experience any pain, but it's very, very painful. Like I'm literally sitting here about to cry because it just feels like, I don't know, and I can't cough or anything because if I try to cough or anything, it just makes it much more painful. It feels like something's pinching right there. So I'm gonna just call my fertility specialist and maybe call my gynecologist too because I don't know if she's technically considered still my gynecologist or not. So I'm gonna call her, but I'm in pain. Like this is so ridiculous. Like I'm trying to figure out how we're supposed to be intimate if I'm in this kind of pain. But we did um, baby dance earlier today. Hopefully, I'm not in so much pain in the morning when um, hubby gets here. Because I have a sleep specialist appointment tomorrow as well. So, hopefully, I'm willing as soon as he comes home. And, and it's not as painful. But anyway, that's what's happening now, y'all. I'm just so, so tired. I'm about to pass out. And, yeah, so that's really it for this vlog. I will be giving you guys more updates as we go through this cycle. And, yeah, so I thank y'all for watching with me. Sending loads of baby dust to my TTC sisters and warriors. And thanking you guys for being here on this journey with me. As always, I love and appreciate you all. May you all have continued peace and blessings. Be blessed, you are fruitful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.